So a short time ago, I got to uh, sit down with someone who I highly admire and respect um, to interview him. And he was so gracious enough to grant me an interview. And he's a voice to our generation, so to all of my ministry peer friends, and uh, even older. Um, the Lord is really using him, so uh, I pray that this interview is going to be a blessing to your life as it was mine. So Lashona and I got the wonderful privilege to travel to the beautiful place of Go Away Farms where we were at Kingdom Leader Lab. During that time, we were able to sit with Brother Terry Shock where he was able to share with me on a one-on-one -on -one interview a few Kingdom principles that I pray that you can enjoy as well. Let's listen. When we talk about the leadership of Jesus, when we talk about the, the pattern being Jesus, we must understand that Jesus was loyal first to truth. And it mattered not what it cost or who it crossed. Jesus must be our pattern. Hello everybody, welcome to Disciples of Christ Jesus TV. Today we have a very, very special guest, a pastor, teacher, administrator, he does a whole lot of things. Terry Shock, welcome to uh, our program and we're gonna interview him. Uh, we are, at Belleville, Texas, Kingdom Leader Lab, 2019. We've been out here for three days and two nights. Uh, Brother Galen Walters, Brother Terry Shock has been pouring into us and kingdom leaders from different parts of, of the country have, have been here. Uh, it's just been amazing. And um, share with us whatever the Lord has for you, for us to hear. Well, well thank Byron, thank you so much for the opportunity yes. to be able to do this. and. It has been, uh, it's been a delight being with you and Lashana the last couple of days. We even got to sit next to each other. Yes, sir. <laughs> so uh, there was a lot, of, there, there was uh, several things that we said under our breath. That we were, <laughs> and, and so I, when I think of you now, I think of Byron Hippolyte Dynamite. <laughs> but it has, it's been, it's been great. It's been great. Um, I'm always energized by being around leaders like you. Oh, thank you. Um, you know, so much to offer. And uh, our organization, our particular organization, I think because of leaders like you and Lashana, that it, it, we're in good shape. Oh. Future's, in, future's in good shape. Praise God. I love, I love being with leaders. Um, I thank God for the opportunity to be with leaders. I was able, blessed to work with a alongside and work for a great leader for 30 years, uh, Pastor Anthony Mangan Amen. at the Pentecostals of Alexandria, Amen. and um, great group of a great group of leaders on that campus. Yes, sir. And I thank God for that. Thank God for all the opportunities, and really um, leadership and networking. The networking of leaders is what's so important. Okay. And if, if everybody would just share what they know, I, I say sometimes, if you know it, you owe it. Mm. Um, we have so much to offer. If you've been in ministry long at all, you have a lot to offer. And I think so many times, even leaders uh, your age or even younger, yes, sir. You, you don't realize the powerful mentor you can be right now. Mm. And it's not, and it's not being, you know, arrogant. It's not pushing yourself. No, nobody wants to deal with a pushy leader. Sure. But there's, there's just so much that, that you know, and, and it's exciting to me that leaders like you are wanting to do interviews like this to, to help get the word out on whatever, on whatever level. My father, um, I was called to preach when I was 16. Wow. And my father passed away whenever I was 19. But I remember uh, talking to him, you know, about feeling like God had called me and, and all this. And he, he said something that, uh, that I've never forgotten. And I tell young leaders a lot. He said this. He said, Terry, don't worry about if you get invited or who's inviting you to preach or where you get an opportunity to preach. He said, if you'll deepen, God will broaden. Mm. 
And so if, if leaders of all ages, especially young leaders, but of all ages, just keep digging. Just dig. Um, we, we, talk, we talk so much about stewardship and we forget that God is the ultimate steward. Mm -hmm. He'll move His resources where He wants them. Um, he, if, if we'll just stay focused on Him. And in this age where, you know, there's so much self-promotion. Yes, sir. And there's so much, you know, trying to get your name out and trying, you know, to, to do all of these things. Social media just really, you know, puts this on steroids. Hmm. And I understand wanting to connect with people. And, you know, I understand wanting to meet people. And I, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. But we've just got to stay focused on the fact that if we will deepen, God will broaden. Mm. God's got this thing, and it's about being connected with Him. And I really wish that young leaders would quit fretting and just flow. Mm. Uh, connect with the Spirit, dig in, be Spirit-filled and Spirit-led, look for opportunities, um, you know, felt needs. Felt needs are the gateway to the real need. And, and so when we help people with the needs they are feeling, mm. they're presently feeling, that I just believe that's the gateway wow. to, the, to the real need. And so it's connecting with God. Uh, we've talked about that for the last two and a half days. Yes. God connection, God connection, God connection. We, we hope you hear that in your sleep. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, because it's God connection. And then it's, it's connection with ourself. Uh, we've got to be connected well with ourself. And that is knowing your God wiring. Mm. How God has wired you. <clears throat> and get out of this comparison thing. Okay. Comparison kills. Yes, sir. And, and it's, it's God wiring. So, it, so if I'm connected with God... And if I'm connected with myself, I know what my God gifting is, and, and, I'm, and I'm happy with that. Mm. I'm not in competition with not one other human. Amen. I'm not, I'm not trying to out-preach anybody, out-teach anybody, out-lead anybody. I do not have, there, I have no other human competition. Yes, sir. I'm in competition with the enemy mm. that is trying to keep me from allowing what God has put in me to mature. Mm. And so when we're connected with God, when we're connected with ourself, and then if we're married, mm -hmm. our spouse. Yes, sir. And then if we have children, our house. Well, I could go on to, you know, then key leaders in your church and heads of households. Because I think that that is so very important. Mm -hmm. But I just, I just believe that if we focus on those, those areas of leadership, then we'll, we'll be prioritized on what we need. And a lot of the other things will just start falling away mm -hmm. as we focus on, on leading, connected with God, leading ourselves. Self-leadership is the biggest issue. Okay. And... Uh, and then we have that connection with our spouse. We have that connection with our house. I call that positioned for kingdom effectiveness. Mm. Position. There's a lot of well-intentioned leaders. They're not positioned to win. Mm. You, you've got to be in position to win. So when, when we're talking about kingdom quest ministries, yes, sir. Uh, that, that Mel and I have had kingdom quest ministries. That's our 501c3. We've had that for many years, many years. Even whenever I was at POA, um, one of the arrangements there, I really appreciated uh, Pastor Anthony Mangan so much because, you know, one weekend a month, uh, we, you know, it was, he wanted us to travel. That's awesome. One weekend a month for years. We've done that for years. And so Kingdom Quest Ministry started there. Then um, LDI, Leadership Development International, we've been leading that for three years now. Okay. Um, I co-led 
the one in the Pacific region in the Philippines with Brother Brat for uh, seven years. And then now we're leading the entire thing for our organization, and that's training leaders internationally. Mm -hmm. And then God just connected us with Galen Walters in March of 2017. It was just a total God thing. A another one of those stewardship and God connecting. Mm -hmm. And so here we are in his conference center yes, where we have spent, you know, three nights and two days. And, uh, and it's just exciting to be able to pour into uh, six senior pastor couples at a time. Mm -hmm. This room is built, this table and all, it seats 12 because the whole concept was, was Jesus worked with 12. And so, he, and so Galen and Mickey built this whole conference center designed to work with 12 people wow. at a time. And so it's just exciting what God unfolds. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, Brother Shock, one of the things I really appreciate about you, um, of course, you've, you've challenged me over the years from afar. Um, and again, it's just good to sit with you now. But um, one of the things I really appreciate about you amongst many is your, obviously, um, if, you have, if you've ever heard this man minister, he's just, he's, he's real. But the transparency, that, that to me speaks to a leader's security. Um, and because you're more concerned about helping the next generation as opposed to self-preservation. Um, because we see somebody of your leadership magnitude and we're, you know, in our natural minds, we're thinking, well, surely he's, he's been perfect. And I know it sounds like a, a silly <laughs> thing, but you know, naturally you can feel that way sometimes when you're isolated, mm -hmm. but you're, you're uh, not only sharing your failures, but you're, uh, you, 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 you've learned through experience and you, you've mm -hmm. taught how to come out and what to do about it. Mm -hmm. And I think, I just think that's just so helpful for, you know, if I can speak for my generation, my generation. Mm -hmm. And so could you kind of talk about that? Um, can you kind of just maybe elaborate on that a little sure. bit? Sure. Um, transparency, one, one reason why that, that I, that I am is I just feel that our lack of practicality mm. is hurting us. Okay. I also feel that you have to be bold to be practical because it doesn't sound spiritual enough mm. when you're, when you're practical. Well, you know, practical about what? Practical about life, practical about, about what's worked practical about what hasn't worked. Mm. I know that I know there are times I come across very bold and I come across, um, I, I guess it would just be bold and straightforward. Well, a lot of that comes from me not wanting to see younger leaders make the same mistakes I've made. Wow. And, and be focused on the wrong things. And so I believe that revelation without application brings frustration. Mm. So we need to apply the real thing. People are hurting. Leaders are hurting. And, and we, we, ha we just have to talk straight. Now, I believe that there's a level of transparency that you that you do not go into sure uh, publicly, and that's reserved for your, you know, your. In my case, my wife, we've we have through the years been very intentional about building a relationship that we're both comfortable with us both critiquing each other. Okay. We had to work on that because we're both very strong leaders and, and in some ways hard-headed. <laughs> and so we had, we had to work on that. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have a brother that's a pastor, Brian. You've met him. He's, yes, he's here. Um, and he's, he's my accountability. Uh, we're, we're, very, you know, we're very close. That's awesome. Um, and and he's, he's one that I, I don't have to filter anything. You know, he don't have to filter anything when he's talking to me. I don't filter anything. We both have each other covered. 
And, and that's, that's the way that is. And you have to have that. You have to have that. But we have to be honest. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I, as in one of our side conversations, whenever I was talking to you about my personal devotion life. Sure. And when God sent the prophet to me mm -hmm. years ago and gave me a very straightforward word. And so I had to change things immediately the next day, mm. how I operated the next day. Mm. Well, you know, you need to hear that. Yes, sir. Young, young leaders need to hear that. Older leaders need to hear that. Mm -hmm. we, we have to get to the point where, again, and I won't say much more about this, but again, relationship determines what you can say. Mm. Um, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm, I'm not, you know, if somebody gives me an open door, then I'm going to be very frank and, and transparent. Uh, but, you know, you, but you, you don't bulldoze into people's lives. Sure. Like, like that. But I hope that answers oh, kind of what you're saying there about transparency. But I believe to a point, it's very, it's very important Amen. that we are. Amen. Amen. People uh, need to see us as real people. Right. Fighting real battles. Right. And, you know, to your, to your point, um, as I told you earlier, we were talking um, in our session and I, I said, you know, one of the things that you said quite boldly and bluntly one time uh, really begin to shape an area of my life mm -hmm. and and i thank you for it and and uh, you know sometimes um you know i'm the type of person i need somebody to get up in my face so uh that that definitely uh, was was a help and a gift uh, you're a great voice to our generation what what do you feel about the future of the, of the church because you're kingdom minded it's another thing that's very important, and we'll end here in a, in a moment talking about Kingdom Quest. Mm -hmm. But um, what do you see in our, our fire generation within the next few years? I'm, I am very excited about the young leaders that I'm coming in contact with. Now, you know, you're always going to have, you know, you're always going to have the fakes, right. you know, and the ones that, you know, and I say fakes, that's heavy because there are fakes. But then there are also a lot that just hasn't found their way yet, mm. but they mean well. Yes, sir. But then there are a lot of them like you that, you know, you're on the right track. Oh, thanks. Uh, you're, you guys are fearless. You're, you're out there tackling it. And, and I, I'm excited. I love connecting with young leaders. Mm -hmm. You guys inspire me. And I, I believe that we're heading in the right direction. Amen. I really do. And I, I feel great about uh, our part of the apostolic movement. I've, I've, I feel good. Amen. I feel very good about it. Amen. This is, uh, our lab is for uh, senior pastor couples only at this point. And, and it's couples. It's not, of course, if there's a senior pastor that's single, then it would be for them. But, um, but for couples, our, our website, Kingdom Quest Ministries, is kqministries.net. Okay. kqministries.net. You can go there, and uh, there's a tab there for Kingdom Leader Labs. And you can read all of the information, uh, you can, it shows how to put down the deposit and it, and it just gives all the information. And we have two more available this year. Uh, well, we have three more available, but the next one's already full. But we do have some uh, room in the two, the latter part of the year. Senior pastor couples only. Okay, good deal. Um, and you're on any social media platforms? How do people follow I'm you? I'm on uh, Twitter. Yes, I'm, I'm on Twitter, uh, Terry Shock on Twitter. We also have KQ Ministries, Kingdom Quest Ministries on Twitter and on Instagram. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll put a link in the description where you can go ahead and contact Brother Shock and Brother Walters and for Kingdom Leader Lab. It has just been an amazing time. Thank you for sitting, watching this video, and I pray and trust and believe that you have been blessed by this great man to my left. Um, we love you. 
Uh, thank you for tuning in to Disciples of Christ Jesus TV. And we pray blessings, the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and added no sorrow to it upon your life in Jesus name. Brother Shock, thank you so much thank for you. joining with us. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Yes, sir. We'll talk to you next time, Lord willing.